sure you haven't. This shit from gophers and hey, don't get me. Okay, don't knock at that. The guy doesn't have a hair on his face. He's got medium length hair, kind of thin lips. His nose is as skinny as a. Let's try and draw his face. There's one good thing. The rest... The guy doesn't have a hair. Let's try and draw his face. There's one good thing. The rest pathetic. The guy doesn't have a hair on it. Let's try and draw his face. There's one good thing. The rest pathetic. This shithole is like a can of prepackaged drink for oh, okay. The guy doesn't have a hair on his face. He's got medium length hair. Let's try and draw his face. Half good, half shite. The guy doesn't have a hair on his... F Let's try and draw his face. The guy doesn't have a hair on it. Let's try and draw his face. Oh, good job! Huh. If you weren't such a dumbass, you might even pass for a detective. Black. Ted, my man, you know you're... Sure you have it.
So, you finally made up your mind? I was starting to get worried. Viens faire un câlin à maman. Brown. Brown Johnson, my brother. What happened to him? Oh, you wanna play tough guy, huh? Got your testosterone all rocked up? Is your blood heading south to play with the boys? Wanna push me against the wall, maybe? Just answer my question. Brown, where is he? Brown? Don't know him. What if I show you this? The name still not ring a bell? Oh, that brown. You should have said so. Red, brown, tell me, your mom must have been kidding when she gave you this name, huh? One stupid name wasn't enough? Let me guess, your sister's yellow, right? Oh no, wait, magenta? Let me tell you how this works. Either you stop with your little comments and tell me about brown, or I hurt you real, real bad. It's your choice. Fucking loser, just like your brother. It must run in the family. I haven't seen that failure in a while. We went at it a few times, some pretty raunchy stuff. Your brother's quite the perv. His big thing was he liked being tied up. Get the picture? Then that dunce got all attached to me. He mistook our sexcapade for some kind of lovemaking. He got all sentimental. It was embarrassing. I almost would have felt bad for him if I could give a shit. He was hanging around me like a little poopy. So I told him to go wrap up against someone else's leg. But he wouldn't stop. Then one day I just stopped hearing from him. Up and gone. If I ever find out you pushed him into doing something stupid, I'm gonna come back here and play the part of the older brother. I chat, but seeing you there staring into space with your jaw hanging down, I'm not sure we'd have...
Nikki's cleaning service. I'm in need. How did you get my number? I have a business card that belongs to you. I see. If you want to do business, we have to meet. In a discreet location. On the pier, next to the old carousel. How will I recognize you? I'll recognize you. What do you look like? I have dark brown hair. So basically, you don't look like anything. I don't deal with boring people. How did you get my... I have... Uh, I see. How will I recog... I'll recog... I have dark brown... I have uh, red hair. I have great sideburns. I have a scar on my face. Yeah, I'm pretty good looking. I'm 5'3". I'm about six feet. I'm wearing a blue hat. I'm wearing... I'm wearing a black leather jacket. I'm wearing a short jacket. And you're not dying of modesty either. And the time for this mysterious rendezvous? I don't give times. Come whenever you want. When the time comes, I'll show myself. You're pretty careful for... I check.
Red Johnson in person. Big. Tough. Detective Johnson. It's my lucky day. Since we've already been introduced, let's make it snappy. Why did I find a hitman's business card at my brother's house? My brother, who had recently gone MIA. That is not the most urgent question for a man whose scalp is worth $150,000 and who has just shown his angel face in person to Nikki. That unfathomable halfwit should be wondering whether his life expectancy is quickly melting like snow under the noonday sun. He should be thinking up possible ways to flee and calculating in his head the ratio between how fast he can swim and how fast a 9mm round flies. I can answer each of your questions, Nikki. 
I don't deny that you're itching to pull that trigger. I know it's only a matter of time before you switch from words to action. But I'm still alive, which leads me to believe that the pussycat enjoys playing with her mouse before making her kill. The chase is the most exciting part, even if it means risking the mouse getting away. So, Nikki, what are the rules of the game? You are 100% correct. I like to play with my prey. It excites me to watch them beg, fight back, hope, only to resign. So, how's this gonna go down, Nikki? It's not that it's late, it's just I'm a little bored. I am like the wise old man on the mountaintop, you see? The one who tells you a riddle, the one who holds the key to your quest. And if you fail, you die. And if I succeed? There's very little chance of that. But I'll spare your life. And? My, aren't you greedy? I'll spare your life and tell you whatever you want to know. I won't dwell on the absurdity of the situation. I'll even try and keep my calm and play the game. So what's the riddle? It's no riddle. You have five tasks to accomplish. Don't push your luck, Nikki. You're not the only one with an itchy trigger finger. You would take the risk of eliminating a possible witness in your brother's disappearance? I'll take my chances and turn my back on you. Are you ready to start the first task? I'm ready to get it over with. What do I have to do? Go pick an Edelweiss from the top of the highest mountain? Part the seas? Clean the Aegean stables? I was thinking something less epic. Are you an astute person? I am whatever you want me to be. Let's get it over with. Good. Your first task is to bring me eight photographs that I've hidden around the neighborhood. I wish you good luck. Huh? What? That's your test? Hide and go seek? You... You wouldn't happen to be wasting my time on purpose to get me off my brother's trail, would you? Why, that thorny question is up to you, my dear. Will there really be a payoff at the end of this masquerade? Some profound revelation? Or will you lose not only a loved one, but your precious time as well? It's an exciting dilemma, don't you think? In the meantime, it's free of charge. You may carry on with your business and leave this question hanging forever. But don't come back and see me unless you have all eight photos.